Welcome to the Mountain Dew Code Red Series Chasers All Series. We've got 14 drivers in this one today. Who will win it this time? Starting on the pole is Austin Alves. He won back. He won at Rockingham and Watkins Glen. Starting in second is James Francis. He won at Phoenix and Talladega. Starting third is Micah Kidney. In the 55, he's one of our chasers without a win. Starting fourth is Zachary Rogers. He won Daytona. Starting fifth is Kerry Dowdall. She is one of the last chance qualifier drivers that made her way into the chase field. Starting beside her is winless driver Peter Sands. Up next is... The 60 of Peggy Bowling, who won back at Dover. And starting beside her is the man who looks to go 3 for 3 in Chasers All Star Races. It's Michael Naylor. Then an Adam Rogers, who won back at Coke Zero. Michael Beeson, who won at Pocono. Then it's the big. Boss herself, Brenda Harala, who has won three races. All th three races won at Charlotte, Gateway, and Iowa. As she holds the record right now in this series and in the truck series. Starting beside her is Ryan Shea, who won back-to-back -back weeks. New Hampshire and Daytona, the second Daytona race. Then it's Daniel Carnero, who won at Montreal. And then Benjamin Tilton, who is the other driver to get himself through from the last chance qualifier. He won at Texas. And he is also, since he is not racing in the Cup Series, he is in both chases, so he has a chance to win a championship. Get himself in the Cup Series Season 3. Lock himself in. We'll watch the cars roll by very quickly. And then we will get you to Green Flag Racing. Fourteen drivers. One more. And then the Truck Series chases All-Star event. Can Michael Naylor go 3-for-3? Three three? If he does so, he'll have completed something in just a matter of two seasons, he will be the only one to win every series. Chases All Star Race. Green flag is out. We are on the way. And take in mind, guys, these cars are fast enough to hit fourth gear. And when they do, they fly. I mean, these guys, they go 10 seconds faster than the truck series, boys. So don't expect freaking two cars to go single file to end the race. And these guys are already three wide. They're wasting no time. Benjamin Tilton making it. Watching himself carefully here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Carrie Dowdall almost got wiped out, I think. Because Austin Elves is flying away here. Oh, boy, guys. Don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. Three by three by three. As long as they don't get on the corners of each other's bumpers, they'll be fine. Austin Al's starting to lose his speed a little bit. Back to the three wide back here. Oh, four wide! Four wide! Naylor, Rogers, Carnero, Beeson! Okay, oh, Carrie just got hit in the wall. James Francis, Micah Kidney, Zachary Rogers, Ryan Shea. Carrie Dalton spins in the pit road. Caution is out. Austin Alves is the race leader. Kidney, Dalton, Rogers, Shea, Beeson, Carney, I mean Francis. That wreck was definitely more violent than the Truck Series one. Let's take you to see what happened. Alright, so Adam Rogers is going to get into the bumper of the 15. Now, if you look back here, the 87 gets into Micah Kinney's rear. That's what turns 55 into the 22. 
55 bouncing off the wall. And the three gets bumped into. And then the five just had nowhere to go. Though he does not really get involved, but Benjamin Tilton did a great job of avoiding this wreck. Let's take two on boards here as well. And on board with Kerry Dowdall. Oh. And I'm a spin in the pit lane. And on board with Benjamin Tilton, the man who made it through the wreck. Great job by Benjamin Tilton as well as Michael Beeson and Daniel Carnero, both doing great jobs getting through this accident. These drivers have not pitted yet. Carrot out is the only car out of the race. Top ten rundown. Austin Alves, Peggy Bowling, Peter Sands, Adam Rogers, Michael Nail, Brenda Harala, Daniel Carnero, Michael Beeson, Benjamin Tilton. Cars that did pit for damage. James Francis, Ryan Che, Mike Kidney, and Zachary Rogers. As we get ready to restart, the funny thing is, that happened on the exact same lap as the Truck Series Chase All-Star event. How will the Code Red drivers handle this? Green flag is back out. Can they keep it green? No lap down cars this time like in the Truck Series event. And I can already tell who is fast and who is slow. Zachary Rogers will not have a chance to win this one. It appears he has sustained... Too much damage. Micah Kidney is fa is up to speed, but he does not. He will not be able to stay along with them. As now he loses. The 5 and the 22 have lost a little bit somewhat. Peggy Bowling taking the race lead. Oh, boy. I thought Peter Sands was going to turn off snows. Two great friends here, both driving forwards. Michael Nail looking to make it three wide. Daniel Carnero goes way high. Benjamin Tilton coming by now as well. Peggy Bowling in the lead. There's three-time winner of the year, Brenda Harala. Adam Rogers with help from Michael Beeson. Oh, boy! Oh, my Peter Sands! Peter Sands and Austin off. Caution is out. Caution is back out. Peggy Bowling will lead it to the line. They could not keep it green like in the truck series. And Peter Sands took some out. Oh, watch out, Zachary Rogers. Peter Sands takes a massive, massive hit. And we're going to have to take it on board with him. First, to show you what happened. Michael Beeson is going to get into Adam Rogers here. He just moves up and barely clips him. Peter Sands gets into him too. He bunny hops the apron, coming back up. Right into Austin Alves. Alves could do nothing. And Peter Sands direct hit into the wall. Alves does a favor of straightening him out. If not, he probably would have come down right into Ryan Shea or teammate James Francis. Let's take that on board. Riding on board, Peter Sands. The good news is that impact could have been a lot tougher had he not had the slow down when he got on the apron. Getting ready to go back green. Austin Isles, Peter Sands, now both out of the race. Different kind of strategies, certain drivers pit the first time they could, others the second. Quick top 10 run down, James Francis, Brenda Harala, Peggy Bowling, Micah Kidney, Ryan Shea, Benjamin Tilton, Zachary Rogers, Michael Beeson, Adam Rogers, Daniel Kinnear, and Michael Naylor. These four behind Zachary Rogers, he is slow. And then the 55 is also somewhat slow. It could be a three-car battle for the race win. Green flag is back out. And that cut was intentional. So I know the exact minute when I might have to stop this recording and start a new one. James Francis in the lead. Here comes Brenda Harala. And I was right. Micah Kenny is slow. Sakuraj has already been passed. Now the 2 and the 30 are working their way by.
And they're trying to. Oh, is Michael Kidney going to get the freaking shove? No, he's not. Brenda Harhala in the lead. Here comes Benjamin Tilton. He did good in the Truck Series Chases All-Star, but he came up short. He's all over the back bumper, Brenda Harala. Benjamin Tilton making his move. For the lead. Ryan Shea looking for second. Here comes Michael Beeson, Daniel Carnero, now Peggy Bowling looking low. Hoping to maybe get the win for her teammate Austin Alves. Benjamin Tilton is in here with teammates Daniel Carnero and Michael Naylor. Very good opportunity for Joe Gibbs Racing. Michael Beeson hoping to get the win for teammate Zachary Rogers. <sighs> Ryan Shea's in here all on his lonesome as a teammate. James hoping to get the win for Peter if he could get up front. Benjamin Tilton still is the race leader as we come to five to go. Who will the winner be? Daniel Carnero now looking low. He has just come off a win at Montreal. Trying to get the lead from a teammate, Benjamin Tilton. Now here comes Adam Rogers and Michael Naylor. These drivers might have to pit again. We don't know. Four to go. Nobody's pitting yet. And I think Michael Beeson almost got into Daniel Carnero. These cars are up here close. Michael Neal are now getting past, dropping seventh. Peggy Bowling is trying to get up to the front, but she hasn't had an ample opportunity yet. Zachary Rogers and James Francis are in pit road. Some of these guys can't make it. Here comes Brenda Harala, storming up from seventh to third. Beeson looking high, does that mean? Yes, it does. Tilton! Harala, Carnero, Naylor. All coming down pit road. So is Mike Kidney. Peggy pulling out of Rogers, Ryan Shea, Michael Beeson all staying out. Who will it be? Two to go coming up. Oh, I thought Adam Rogers was going to get into the five or IJ. Adam Rogers hasn't forgotten that the two almost wrecked him earlier, but does he care about that right now? Two to go, coming to the line. Beeson, Adam Rogers, Ryan, Shea, Peggy Bowling. Everybody's coming down. No! Oh! He did it! Adam Rogers did it! He just wrecked Michael Beeson! Coming into the pits! And he's done! It's going to be between Ryan Shea, Pecky Bowling, and whoever else has a chance. Oh my gosh. Ryan Shea is away. He goes by Pecky Bowling. The caution is out. I don't know what the hell's going to happen. But Ryan Shea was put in as third. The cars are being a lot around the pace car. Peggy Boy made it around before Ryan Shea. It's just going to determine the winner. Peggy Boy showing no sign of slowing down. And coming to the caution and wait, I think Peggy Boring just stole this from Ryan Shea. And I am surprised they threw a caution for an incident contained in pit road. I'm going to guess it was for the Bray. Because that two car went up in smoke. 
All these drivers will be stuck behind the pace car. But I think Peggy Bowling is going to win it. Now, let's check and see why Adam Rogers turned to Michael Beeson. Can't get any plainer than this from the spectator cam. He was on the two's bumper, but that might have been intentional. He just pushes Beeson into the wall. Then Adam Rogers gets stuck to what could have been a potential Chevy win. Was handed away to Ford because Ryan Shea got stuck on the high side, the left side of the pace car. Peggy Bowen went on the right. And that, my friends, caused Peggy Bowling to steal the Chasers All-Star Race from Chevy. Ford has just stolen this one, guys. Well, like I said, Peggy Bowling won the Chasers All-Star Race. Second was Ryan Shea. Tough break. He couldn't get around the pace car fast enough. Third, Daniel Kinnear. Fourth, Benjamin Tilton. Fifth was Michael Naylor. Sixth, Brenda Harala. Seventh, Michael Kennedy. Eighth, James Francis. Ninth was Zachary Rogers. Cars that did not finish. Tenth, Michael Beeson. Then Adam Rogers, Austin Ellis, Peter Sands, and Kerry Dowdall. So we will see you soon for the Voltage Cup Chasers All-Star. And let me remind you guys... Every one of those drivers has a new paint scheme to show off. So we'll see you for that, guys.